episode of John Eats Cheap. Subscribe, follow, share, ask questions, do anything. Comment below when you see the videos. We just love doing these. And April 5th is Deep Dish Pizza Day. And as you can tell, if you've seen any of the past videos, we've done a lot of pizza. And I love Chicago style deep dish pizza. This isn't a Chicago style deep dish pizza. It's a knockoff of the restaurant Old Chicago, and they have something they call a, the classic. And this is actually a dough recipe I found. I was trying to find a Pizza Hut pan pizza-like recipe, and I made this one, and Mrs. Cheap and I both agreed, it's just like the Old Chicago pizza. So that's what we're gonna knock off today, our favorite, the classic, which has cheese, tomato sauce, and then mushrooms, pepperoni, Italian sausage, and garlic, I mean chopped garlic. You can really taste the garlic. So we're gonna make the dough first of all. I got three cups of flour here. I've got, uh, let's see, a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon and a quarter of salt. So I'm gonna add that to the flour. We'll post the recipe. Yeah, we'll post the recipe. I got, uh, let's see, one and a half teaspoons of yeast going in, and then a cup and a third of warm water. And I'm not going to activate the yeast or anything ahead of time. I'm just putting it all together at once. So we're just going to let this go until it gets incorporated. I may need to take a spatula and knock the flour down a little bit, but until it forms a ball and you know it's a ball of dough. All right, so we've gone about three or four minutes and it's pretty incorporated. I'm, I'm just going to the lowest speed there. So I'm going to, I'm going to call that done. So this is this it, is kind of sticky a little bit. You could just knead it by hand if you didn't have like a kitchen. It, you aid. could. It, it would it would take a while. Okay, uh, I need to spray this. Got a little olive oil. Just gonna spray a bowl so it won't stick. Because obviously it's sticking to my hands. I'm gonna try and get that out of there and get it in there. Okay, so I got it in there and I I want to flip it. Just so it's coated on both sides. Oh, it looks much better on the bottom there, doesn't it? More like a dough. We're supposed to let this rise uh, one and a half to two hours. As they always say, till it doubles in size. Yeah, you've heard that one before. So we're just gonna let it go for an hour and a half or so. I've got the light on in the oven that keeps it nice and warm and really good for percolating some deep dish dough. We're about an hour and a half in. You can see the dough looks great. Definitely doubled in size. Great rise, doubled in size. That's got to go another half an hour, but I'm taking it. I had it rising in the oven, but I got to heat the oven up now because now I need to prepare the ingredients. I sliced some mushrooms. I diced some fresh garlic. Now, Fairway, our local grocery store, just started curing in their fresh meat case a sweet Chicago Italian sausage. And for deep dish, I really like the sweet sausage more so than the, the spicy, hot Italian. I like that on thin crust. So I got some of this sausage, and instead of browning it in a pan, this is what I like to do for deep dish, to make it like Chicago style. Got a pizza pan here, or a cookie sheet, just with some parchment. And you know how usually they have chunks of sausage? Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm browning chunks of sausage to put on our old Chicago style pan sausage pizza. So instead of browning it or just... Yeah, and grinding it up. And a, a lot of the restaurants I know on Deep Dish, because they usually cook a long time, they put it on raw. And I do that sometimes times too with sausage on, on thin crust pizza if it's gonna cook a long time. This one, doesn't cook a real long time. I just like to cook it about halfway through. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. All right, got a saucepan. I put a large can, what is that? 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes in there. And I'm just gonna grind these up with the motorboat, the emulsion, immersion, whatever it's called. Gonna make some homemade sauce. Now, you know, my favorite pizza sauce is Contadina. I've talked about that before, but that's only on thin crust. On 
thick crust pizza, I like a really thick tomato base. And this is just a real quick one to make. And cheap, because it's just a can cheap. of tomatoes. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is just a can of store-bought tomatoes. And I got them broken up there. And now I'll show you how to add the seasonings. So this is what I do, look at this. That's one can of tomatoes, three tablespoons of butter, some garlic powder. You know, I don't know how much. This is probably a couple of teaspoons of garlic powder and Italian seasoning. It's got all the, the red pepper, the oregano, the basil, all that stuff. We get it at Graziano's, the Italian grocery, and just drop. We need to get more. Yeah, we do. Yeah, about a tablespoon of that in. And to that, you need to add some salt. Because tomatoes need a lot of salt. They do. So that's uh, one, probably two teaspoons of salt to start. I'm going to add some pepper. And you just go by taste. You cook it a while and then you taste it. And if it's good, it's good. If it's not, you like add what it needs. But that's it. You can see that's a good deep dish pizza sauce right there. I mean, it looks like it already. All right, we've got our ingredients assembled. The sausage is in the oven kind of half cooking and our dough is ready to go into the pan. So I got to put a little oil. You can use olive oil, but I found this stuff. It's called Whirl. It's like a butter oil. And we're going to put that in the bottom of the pan for a buttery crust. Just kind of spread it around a little bit. Get it up on the sides a little as well. And this is like a restaurant secret thing, right, Whirl? Well, kind of, yeah. It's it's not well known. You don't see it in the stores, really. But yeah, we, we, we got like a gallon sandwich. of it. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of it, so it'll last a while. So the dough goes in. And we're just going to work this out. You can see it's oiled, so now it's not sticking. And you're just going to fill the pan with it. So if you don't have the whirl, what, you just use a little oil? Or? Just olive oil, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now we need to let this rest for about 30 minutes. All right, update on our sauce. This is about 10 to 15 minutes in. You know, the butter, the tomatoes, the garlic powder, and the Italian seasoning. It's a little bubbly, and you can see that's, well, that's just a perfect consistency for a deep dish pizza. I'm just gonna taste it, see how it is. And that is perfect right there. I'm not kidding you. All right, we're ready to assemble. The sausage is cooked. I did like, I think 15 minutes at 400. It's kind of par cooked, nice chunks. The sauce is ready. I got my mushrooms. Now this is the, uh, this is, no, Mrs. Chief, not yet. Wait, it's only par cooked. That's not good. Okay, so here's our crust. It, it has risen another, 35 minutes, so I'm just gonna go around and puff it up a little bit so it gets a little bit of an edge. It doesn't need to have the high edge like your traditional Chicago crust does. So we start with the, uh, geez, I don't remember. If we do the, the cheese first? No, there's I, sauce. I think we do sauce on the bottom. So I'm gonna do that. So this is the sauce going down. Let me get just a little bit more. And we'll have a little left over, but that's okay because we can use it for something else. Sauce done. Right. Okay, then they do the cheese. And I got some leftover that I did the, uh, this was frozen. So this is the really good Italian that we shredded ourselves. Ah, come on. Now, so we got our we got our pizza out there, right? Fresh garlic. You can use the, if you have the, you know, the big thing of Sam's Club, but Old Chicago uses fresh garlic and there's little pockets of like really garlicky stuff. This is nine cloves that I did. <laughs> no vampires here. Oh yeah. We'll be mouth washing tonight. I hope it's not too much. <laughs> we'll find out. Nine cloves of garlic, okay. So that's going down. We got pepperoni. Yay. 
finishing off this from our last pizza because we did pizza not that long ago. We love pizza. Yeah, we do. And when you're putting all these toppings on, you got to spread them out. You, you can't do it like, oh, just load it up because there's a lot of toppings here. We got lots of pepperoni left over, so we're going to have to have pizza again. Yay. Yeah. Now the mushrooms, sliced them pretty thin. I'm going to get them all the way around. Sometimes I like sauteing these, but I didn't this time. Just fresh on top. The difference between fresh and canned is huge. And a lot of restaurants use the canned. And, the, you know, those are good. But still, we like the fresh. Now the sausage. And these chunks, we just want to, like, move them, put them. You know, these are big chunks of sausage. I really do like it that way on a, on a pan pizza. And the Chicago places, they'll do a whole patty, you know, like on top of the bottom of the crust. I'm not going to do that. But... You will load it up. These are big chunks, and I'm going to load it up. That was a whole pound of sausage. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be a well, whole pound I think of I'm gonna, pizza. I think I'm going to stop it right there. And I'm, I'm on top of that, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more cheese. Not much. Just enough to, like, make it interesting. Hold the toppings on. Fill in the gaps. This is going to 475 oven until it's done. Oh, that's hot. It is, but deep dish, you need to do it that way. You're, oh, heavy. This is dinner for a few days. Behold the old Chicago classic. Oh, man. This smells great. I'm running the spatula around, but it's not sticking anywhere. It's ready to go. Mrs. Cheap is really ready to dive into this. This is the hard part is cutting it. Do I keep it in the pan? Do I put it on some parchment? I'm gonna keep it in the pan. This is some deep dish pizza. And as I said, this isn't like an authentic Chicago style. I'm not claiming it's that. But it's, it's old Chicago style. It's old Chicago deep dish pizza. There's our slice right there. And I'm not even, I mean, it tastes great. I know I've made it before. So I'm not gonna, I have to let it set for a long time before we taste it. So I'm not gonna do that. Thanks for watching. Happy deep dish pizza day. And uh, eat this. It's great. <laughs> Follow us, Johnny's Cheap, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Subscribe, like. That is an awesome slice of pizza. Look at that. And it's a buttery crust underneath. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to dig in. Thanks for watching. <laughs>